Hi everybody, um, I've been asked a couple times to do a tutorial on the two-handed um, horizontal ghost isolation um, illusion. So um, I've seen a few really good tutorials that I will try to put the link in the description below. Um, but yeah, here's the move. So a few um, helpful tricks to move before, uh, moves to know before you do this is the one-handed isolation, the isopop, the backwards isopop, or the cat eye in general is really the move. This is really the motion that your right arm is making and your left hand is controlling it. Um, so that's much uh, smoother and slower. So, um, also what you probably uh, would be good to know is the stationary ghost isolation, meeting at the horizontal axes, there and there, meeting and meeting. So you understand the arm um, movements. So that's basically what you're doing. And again, it's the right arm doing the isolation the whole time as a cat eye and your left arm is tracing your left hand is tracing so I start with it across my body um, as if you're gonna do an isopop with your right arm to the left across your body so you're tracing with your left hand up and around the arch keeping it um, as centered on the axes as I can and then this is where the isolation knowing how to do the isolation comes in hand because you're doing the same rolling over of the hand movement that you do in the isolation when you get to the top and you um, lift up and over that arch so you're switching that hand grip so that's where you're going to need to know that or it's beneficial so you can bring it across um, this trick was a little bit complicated for me to understand I think mentally I think you kind of have a little bit of a um, everyone has to go through that oh and then you have a realization of what you're doing um, but yeah it's the up and over and the more you do it the smoother you'll get but this is really kind of the trickiest part is getting it to keep stay steady in the same plane while you're switching the hand over so for a split second it's not that your left hand is taking control and moving the hoop it's more so keeping it level in a plane that you can then re-grip with your right arm or your right hand and continue the isolation with your right hand across. So when you get here, you kind of glide over and create that illusion that you're switching hands, but you're really just gliding your left over your right and re-gripping on the other side. And the more you push out and exaggerate how far across you're going, the more it creates the illusion, I believe. Um, I have seen it been done before and I this is actually what I thought this move was originally um, was doing the isolation this way till you get to the hand point taking the grip with your left then and gliding over with your right and continuing and switching the actual direction of the control and which hand is pushing um, the isolation and um, and I actually watched a tutorial on this and there are some people I'm sure that do this and I'm sure you can do it very smoothly um, And actually, you know make it look really pretty and each way and any way that you want to do it I think you can probably practice enough to make it smooth, but um, <laughs> My only argument with that with that is that um, It's kind of like handwriting and cursive writing you can write handwriting as fast as you want, but cursive handwriting will always be faster because it's so much, it's all one fluid motion. So if you keep the control in one hand, it keeps it a nice fluid one action rather than having to switch direction and stop and start. So um, that's my little tip for that. Um, other than that, that's that move and um, I think it looks really pretty. Um, also, some tips for these kinds of moves. Any illusionary, any um, 
isolation move or any illusionary anything. Um, a huge tip of advice is mirrors, using mirrors, anything that you can see your reflection on that you're to be able to know that you're keeping the hoop in the same position, you're actually creating that illusion. You wanna make sure that you're actually creating the illusion that you're seeing. Um, and that's really how a lot of moves are figured out or seen or noticed. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoy and I hope you are able to uh, understand this move. And if not, don't fret, practice makes progress and we're always learning new things. So enjoy.